my sofa. Plus, I'm inevitably going to stain some clothes, so I wanted to get some stuff for that. I think it's quite obvious that I've never been a dusting and surface cleaning person, but that change has now got my own place. I was really confused by these Sephora ones because I don't know whether you have to dilute them or not. I've I recorded this at a funny angle and I made myself sick of looking at it on the way back. Dogs on my feet. It's not that warm out. Um, yes, you do have to dilute Zoflora and it's a disinfectant. Read the instructions. If you want it to work as a disinfectant, you must dilute it according to the instructions on the back. It has got an incredibly strong smell. Now, a lot of people just use it because they want the smell. Do not confuse something smelling with something being clean. It's not a cleaner. Washing up liquid and those microfiber cloths. Hot washing, hot soapy water. Wring out one of those microfiber cloths. Wear gloves. Always wear gloves. Look after your hands. That will clean most surfaces. I use a well wrung out cloth on that. That's antique. I use a well wrung out cloth on that. I use a well wrung out cloth on this. The Dr. Beckman's a really good shout. Don't bother buying branded vanish, buy the cheap stuff. You'll save yourself a lot of money. There's a huge difference uh, in price. Um, like I said, I'm not a fan of Mr Sheen, but it is good for getting uh, fingerprints off melamine, off kitchen cupboards. Uh, by all means, use the Doflora, but read the instructions. Never use it undiluted and do not, whatever you do, use it as like an air freshener thing. If you want it to smell, it may be a tiny drop in the hot soapy water that is the thing that you will find will clean your flat most efficiently.